Hi everybody, this is the follow-up video to my uh, uh, unboxing or uh, descriptive video that I just posted a few days ago. Um, this is Gigabyte's 880 GMA USB 3 AM3 Plus motherboard. It's a micro ATX board uh, supporting Core Boost and the new AM3 Plus processors that will be coming out. Um, at the time of this video, there were no AM3 Plus processors, so I have a Phenom uh, 925 4 core processor and 4 gigabytes of G-Skill DDR3 RAM. Uh, for the video card, we have XFX's uh, 5570, and it's only using DDR2 RAM, but it comes with a lifetime warranty. Not DirectX, um, I'm sorry, it is DirectX 11 capable, however, it's not iFinity capable. Let's see, we also have a SATA 3 500 gigabyte hard drive from Western Digital. Uh, it is a native SATA 3 uh, motherboard, so it's very nice. You don't have to mess around with any SATA 2 or SATA 3 uh, things. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, power supply is uh, Antex 500 watt continuous power supply. It's 80 plus bronze, so very efficient, very quiet. Uh, speaking of quiet, the front fan is a 120 meter fan from Antec, and I'm going to rotate the computer around so you can see the front fan. The front fan is what you see in front emanating the blue light. It's Antec's 3 speed uh, 120 meter fan. It has blue LED lights, but what's really nice is that it has this little knob here for speed control. And it's Something you want, honestly, because uh, a 120 millimeter, a 120 millimeter fan blowing at full blast can be a, a noisy. So uh, this build is meant to be a little bit more quiet than usual. Uh, we have it in a micro ATX case. It's from Apex. It's a very popular case with the uh, customers I cater to. Uh, it has a handle on top, so I'm going to just bring it down a little bit so you can see the handle on top has a handle on top, nice handle. Turn to the front. I have a multi-card reader, LG DVD burner. Uh, all the stickers uh, that come with the goodies in there. Uh, in terms of numbers, um, unfortunately I can't zoom in very well with this camera because uh, until I get a replacement for my high definition camera, I'm using a photo camera, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, for those of you who know me or the videos, you know that I'm not really gonna, you know, uh, make up these numbers. It's a 2.8 gigahertz processor, so Windows ranks it at 7.2. The memory is ranking at 7.5. Desktop performance for Windows is 5.5. 3D graphics is 6.6, .6, and data transfer rate is 5.9. So pretty good numbers. Um, it's an all-around nice balance system. Um, it would be better with a more powerful graphics card, definitely. In terms of gaming, it does game pretty well. I'll put on a couple games to test it. Um, but you're not going to get like incredibly high frames a second, or you won't be able to turn up all the eye candy with this uh, lower-end video card. But thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, please post them at the bottom of the video. And see you later.